Hello, TLC family and friends. My name is Christian Fluellen. And I am Paul Scott Sr., a.k.a. Professor Paul. <laughs> and um, what you may not know is that we are part of the development team for NBC, NBC. Yes. the uh, New Beginnings campaign. Isn't that exciting? Yes, it's very exciting. Woo! Yes. But as soon as the New Beginnings campaign kicked off, we have been receiving a lot of questions. We're here to read them and answer them for you. Yeah, just surprising. Um, questions that come in, people want to know what's this about, and um, just asking questions. And the first question I have is, how can we all get ready for this new beginning in 2024? Yes. You know, that's a good question because New Year is starting, and usually people go on their, you know, their um, New Year's resolution. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll lose yeah, weight. Yeah. You know, and then it's like, you know, how can we get ready for this new beginning? And yeah. stick. And I truly believe that, you know, God is always um, wanting us to have a new beginning. And with the book of Nehemiah, um, what he did was he really just kind of accessed what the condition of the people yeah. is. And the first thing he did was he began to pray and then he anticipated a new beginning. So I think that, you know, that could be for us just beginning to pray and, and just see what God is doing for a new beginning. Yeah. And then just pray and then all of a sudden anticipate. Exactly. Because like with new beginnings with me, how I feel about it is you want to you want to start refresh. You want a clean slate because that's what everybody thinks as soon as the new year starts. I'm starting off clean, starting off fresh. I got a new slate to do new things with my life. But by first doing that, I think that God should be number one. Absolutely. Because with God being number one, he helps you. He right, builds right. you each and every day. It's not just a Sunday thing. Right. It's an everyday thing. And that starts with just praying and trusting and believing that God will make a change of difference in your life. Right. And that's what I think helps with new beginnings. That's good, good, good. What have you got? I got a question as well. How do I know new beginnings is right for me? First, everything takes time. You have to be patient, understand that it might not go the way that I think it should go right away, but that doesn't mean to quit and give up. Because with developing your faith, it takes time and patience knowing that and trusting that God got you at the end of the day. And I feel like with new beginnings, that will help with everybody building that relationship. It's new beginnings, yeah. especially if you have been on the path and you have been lost and it feels like you just keep on going over the same speed bump. Maybe God's getting your attention. Yeah. And I feel like with this new beginning class, it could definitely help. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are. Exactly. Whether you're 5, 15, 25, 55, or 95, there still is a new beginning. And sometimes as you get older, you have memories of bad things that have happened in yes. your life. And they tend to like weigh on you. But God is always doing something new. You know, he says to begin again. Behold, I'm doing something new. Can't you see it? We have to see what God is doing. And it's for everyone. There's always an opportunity for us to do something new, something to start over again. Yes. You know, we, as long as we have life, we have a new beginning every day of our life, every moment of our life. Yes, and life is a marathon. Yes. It's not a yes. race. Yes. Take your Absolutely. time and just continue to trust. Yes. That God, yes. no matter what it might look like now, he'll make a way. Yeah, never give up. You never lose hope. You keep on fighting until the end. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's good, good. What's the other um, question? I have another question. This is kind of challenging. What are some challenges that you have had starting something new, like refining yourself? How many challenges um, like starting something new? And so um, I know for me, um, what I recently have done is like started school over again. That's kind of crazy. Why am I starting school at 65? But you know, um, um, it's, it's a new beginning. And it, for me, it's like, I'm not settling for you know like old age or anything yeah. like that and i think never in life we should ever settle we should never think that we're never too old to yeah. do something new you know no matter what what our, no matter what our situation is we can always start doing something new and i believe that the, even the condition of the people in nehemiah you know there i mean their walls were torn down it just looked like a bad situation that could never happen but yet and still because one person had a vision and inspired the people, yes. all of a sudden, the people got a different mind to work and rebuild and, and to start living a new life that they probably have never lived before because they yes. were in bondage. And sometimes even though our lives, and we may have been in bondage or things, you know, have hurt habits, hangups, all of our lives, God can still do a new beginning. Yes. You know? Without a doubt. And it's just all about surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Yes. So yes. you can continue to build and continue to grow. 
So you don't have any negative people like how me and Maya had. Like, oh, why uh-huh. are you doing that wall? Yeah, right, right. It's just going right. to fall down again. Right. The doubters, the naysayers, right, and all right. that. So those could be a few challenges that might come with a new beginning in life. Yeah. I know some of my things that were like a new beginning, trying to get physically fit all over again yeah. from, right. hey, I got a dad bod. Now I'm going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> it takes time. It takes I patience. Know. But it also takes, what well, even working out, takes time to trust God. Like, hey. I know I don't look like how I want to look, but with due time, everything's going to be all right. Yes, yes. it's about progress, yes. not perfection. It's not going to happen keep on right going. Even there. if you fail before, keep on going. Get back in the ring, you know. Re- get refired up. Yeah, you exactly. Know. Yep, yep. And my last question, do you think, do you think, Phil, God can help you in your new beginning? Of course, I know for sure that God can help you in your new beginning, before I have my own story, when you fall flat on your face and you lose a job and you're wondering, why did this happen to me, God? I thought I was doing the right thing in life. And things just happen. Bad things, like my dad used to always say, bad things happen to good people. Doesn't mean that God loves you any less. There's something to learn and grow from the situation. Yes. That also helps with the new beginning. Because just because you have a failure, it doesn't mean that's gonna define you. Your past never defines you. It's all about the future. And what we were saying, yes, rebuild, yeah. rebuild, yes, yes. And even as you were talking about beginning with God, the one scripture that comes to mind is that He that hath begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus yes. Christ. And so we know that God is always with us and always working on the inside yes. of us, helping us by His grace to finish the course, the work that He has all that He first yes. began in our lives to the end. So that's what I believe the new beginning is about: is knowing that God is with us and He will help us. He is faithful to the end and will never give up on us. So we can't give up on God's purpose in this new beginning season that he has invited us into along with us. We are together with him in this new beginning. Yes, Father God, God is definitely our strength. Without him, we're nothing. But with him, we can do anything that we put our minds to. And that is the amazing thing with the New Beginnings campaign that we're on. And we hope and pray that we can inspire people to start this new beginning. This campaign will begin in January, January the 7th to be exact. And we're definitely motivated and ready to motivate all the new people that want to go on this journey with us with new beginnings. I would encourage you not to miss this moment in your life. And there's always been a saying that when opportunity, opportunity knocks, it's too late to prepare. So this moment may never come around again So I encourage you to embrace it, step into it, and walk in it for all that God has for you to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.